peace. Now's the vibrate, of course. Now's the time to to get out into nature and connect with the ancestors. You know, in that October, you know, the veil in between, you know, the physical realm and the, you know, physical and non-physical realms, that veil is thinning. Matter of fact, like, we all becoming like Papa Legba in essence, you know what I'm saying? That, that person that's walking in between the realms, you know, and we could feel it. Matter of fact, it uh, gave me the reminiscent thought of why always kind of in essence like the fall like in the fall had like this this vibe you could just feel it in the air like uh matter of fact i was telling my brethren like that's why like around the fall time i was more probably like when i'd be walking home from my partner crib for like hey it was like something was in the corner over there or something was around the building like you feel the presence of things around you and you look and you might not see anything with your naked eyes but it's because of the Again, the veil is so thin, you know, the energies are being able to be felt on a, a high level down to me catching the download of connecting with nature and getting closer to, you know, the Devic Kingdom. The Devic Kingdom is, you know, the nature, uh, you could say almost like nature deities are gods in essence, are elementals, you know, it's different forms of it. Matter of fact, go check out my Devic Kingdom video where I speak on all the different, uh, if I got more than one, but you know these different uh different deities or uh, beings, and in essence, also like uh, the correlation of dealing with the Devic Kingdom and the ancestors. Part of the Devic, I mean, you know, in essence, the Devic Kingdom is the ancestors, and you think about the Twa people. You know, go look at the Twa people, T W A. The Twa people is the little short, uh, like pygmy people of uh, Africa. But like they're naturally like short, short, extremely short people. And in essence, you know, like the depiction of the gnomes and fairy stuff like that, you know, that's the real life version. They're very connected to nature as if, you know, like a fairy or how a fairy is depicted and stuff like this. So we are connecting with those ancestors. Make me also think back to the first sign. Matter of fact, right now is also a good time to start an altar. If you don't have an altar, start an altar right now if you could just buy a candle just to have in a certain area or put your crystals in a certain area in your crib and just make an area where you could always go back to and and and, and uh you know and connect in a certain area because what you're doing is creating an igni uh, uh, energy signature you know by you constantly meditating in one area and constantly you know consorting with the ancestors, as a matter of fact, the ancestors within, the, you know, it's all within us, you know, uh, and that's with the, what's within us, you know, manifests or is also outside of us as well. But again, we connect with energies inside of us. But again, a constant connection with an altar, you know, works exactly almost in a law of attraction type of way as well, as far as like what we focus on grow. And if you got like a certain part of your area that you always focus on when you're dealing with your higher self and your spirit, then it's gonna create a certain little energy, you know, that's gonna grow and you're gonna start to feel whenever you pass, like as you continuously work with, you know, with your altar and work in a certain little area, you're gonna feel the energy spike or like you're gonna feel a difference in the energy walking in that area, you know, after so long of you working, you know. That's another reason why, you know, in essence, and again, whether this come from, you know, uh, Europeans or Africans or whoever, you know, on, it's uh, a human level thing nonetheless. And what I about to speak of is like a, with graveyards and stuff like that, you know, like we're having graveyards and putting grandmother and papa over here in this little plot, you know, so we could go back and visit. But the thing is, you know, uh, we always knew that, you know, tapping into connecting with our ancestors is not only an energy that's inside of us, but again, you know, we would use an altar. Like, we wasn't trying to make sure I go down to this graveyard, like, and the only way I could connect with, you know, my mom or dad, pops or sister, bro, whoever, you know what I'm saying, who may, may have transitioned, the only way I could connect with them is so I go to the graveyard where they buried at. No, you know what I'm saying? We could tap into this energy in it and everywhere, you know, and you start to see, 
how certain people depend on physical places or areas to only tap into the energy, you know, like, well, oh, the only way I could connect with, you know, ancestors is if I go to a graveyard, or the only way to connect with God is if I go to this building called a church or a temple or a mosque, you know. And again, not knocking, you know, because <laughs> again, you know, it does have a, a like with having a church and stuff like that. Again, and in the church, you know, you got the altar, the altar boys and all that, but, <laughs> but you got the, you know, the, uh, you know, the altar within churches as well. Matter of fact, having an altar always dealt with the the golden mean ratio. Or more so I should say the just the way a community was built down to the alt altar was all based on as above so below and how, you know, uh God expands our source, you know, just the Everything that is expands in the in a format of a uh, of the golden mean ratio, you know, and and by expanding in that you know uh, arithmetic or mathematical sequence, it allows for waves to expand and contract without destructive uh, you know without destructive wave interference. So these these waves could you know come across each other, but when they do, they're not gonna uh, destructively interfere. They're gonna constructively interfere with each other. You know, in our Taurus field, you know, moving in the Taurus field and coming out of the bottom of the Taurus field and going in. You know what I'm saying? And all that constantly. You know, like that. That's another thing. Keeping keeping our Taurus field spinning. You know, experiencing bliss. That's why it's so important for us to meditate and you know connect with our spirit and whether you know you meditate and have a spiritual connection through meditation or you know using a more healthier forms of uh psychedelics you know like ayahuasca uh mushrooms because I'm, I'm starting to uh <laughs> starting to get to a place where i always saw why i never kind of like lsd you know why i kind of felt some kind of way Got, I got my connections from it, but anyway, we're not going to go in there. That's a different story at <laughs> a different time. But uh, again, creating bliss experiences and also, you know, having sex. You know, sex is a bliss experience that, you know, connects with the Kundalini energy and, and, and allows for our Taurus feel, you know, to spin. Because that's another thing when you're sitting around, you know, and I spoke to the sex situation too, but like, uh, you know, of course, you know, you're going to abstain and, and uh, abstain and be celibate. You know, if you had a bunch of unfavorable, you know, sexual experiences in your past, you know, the healthiest thing for you to do in some cases may be to abstain. But some of us are abstaining with this, uh, you know, these dogmatic ideas of sex. But anyway... You know, it's a blissful experience, and if you're not creating situations of bliss, your Taurus feel starts to spin slower and slower. You ever seen a tornado that spins slow? Or, uh, you know, or a tornado that doesn't spin at all? No, because it don't exist. A tornado can't exist if it ain't spinning rapidly. You know, and of course, it could exist to a certain extent, or like how they call it, a dirt devil or a little storm, you know, that, you know, like when the dust kind of flying a little bit in a little, you know, but you know, it's barely, seen or felt you know it's like really creating that spin and that's you know again blissful experiences whether through meditation or healthier healthy forms of psychedelics you know the dmt uh and the natural forms through ayahuasca or, uh you know psilocybin mushrooms put the asterisk by lsd <laughs> uh what else creating uh bliss experiences you know, uh, opening up our pineal gland, that's another thing, you know, like showing that we want to use this bodysuit to elevate, you know, because another thing, our actions speak louder than words, you know, like source, you know, our higher self is not, you know, uh, in these high realms and this high, high dimensional existence, you know, taking lip service, like what, what, uh, you know, yeah, source. I really love this body. 
you know, I really love my body, so it's, I really love my body. Like, you know, I'm saying that with my mouth, but then I'm, I'm drinking alcohol all day, every day. I'm popping pills. I'm doing all this, and I'm like, I really love my body. Ain't nothing but lift service. Like, all sorts, so our high self, you know, could go off of is our actions and say, like, well, you know, you are the God, and even though you don't know it and you think you're talking, matter of fact, you, you God, and you think you, like, uh, Sweet talking some sky daddy, like sky daddy. I love my body, sky daddy. When you don't realize, you know, you are the God and you fake lying to yourself, and it's your own actions that says what it really is, you know. And you know, the true God essence within you is like, shit, we can only go off of what you're doing. You know, of course, it's unfortunate that you brainwash and don't realize that you you know, uh, praying and giving your energy to something outside your body and you don't know that you're creating your situation. But, you know, it is what it is. That's the contrast on your experience that you signed up for. <laughs> you know, and you know, you'll know learn through it or you, know, you won't, you know, but again, uh, I don't know, I, I almost forgot where I was with that rant. <laughs> but just speaking to, you know, going within, you know, tap opening up the pineal gland and showing that you know we care about connecting with our higher self it's not about saying it oh yeah man i mean even on the low levels of uh, uh, things like oh yeah man you know i'm gonna start going to church oh yeah man i'm gonna start going to church and it's not it's not about the church vibe but even with that vibe it's like what well, people like and then you never see that person in church why are they lip service but which on a real situation, the reason why they give giving lip service to church because somewhere inside of them they know it's some bullshit. <laughs> so it's like, you know. And as I say, you know, it's some bullshit. I'm not, uh, again, to each his own, whether you go to church still or not, you know, uh, I still love you. <laughs> you know, but it's a fact that, it's a fact that the Greco Rome and you know, uh, Constantine got together and, and, and formatted the Bible in a certain way. It's a fact that they tried to turn uh, this Yeshua, what they call Jesus, because the letter, letter J didn't even exist at the time, but it's a fact that they got together and tried to make this uh, Christ energy a historical figure. It's a fact that Horus, Osiris, and Mayat, and, and, and Isis, like ancient comedic stories, existed way before you know the the Moseses and the Noahs and all that of the world you know what I'm saying that's a fact it's a fact that the Sphinx has water erosion around it from over 10,000 years old you know which outdates your Bible and your Quran you know and a lot of other uh, like uh, texts like I think that a lot of like Bhagavad Gita and Hindu texts as well you know it's like and, and, and yet, when a person does research, you know, they claim to really want the truth, knowing that, you know, when looking for the truth, you know, you always go to the source, you go as far back as you can. But when it comes to religion, a lot of people stop, it's like, er, I'm gonna stop right here in Europe, or I'm gonna stop right here in Rome, or I'm gonna stop right here in, you know, India, I'm gonna stop right here, even I'm gonna stop right here in Kemet, or I'm gonna stop right here in Kush, or I'm gonna stop right here in Africa. When you got Atlantis and Lemuria, you know, and you got even, you know, things that existed even further back, you know. Like fully knowing, you know, the past, you know what, you know where you're going. But uh, again, connecting with nature, even down to me being able to do this video, you know, so smoothly because I just finished laying in the ground, you know, connecting with the shamanic resonance. The shamanic resonance is raising right now. Some telling me it's like probably at a nine or, or, or a high eight point something. The shamanic resonance is usually like a, like seven point something. I think you see that little correlation of, you know, the shamanic resonance number seven, like close to that, uh, the same thing with the pH level balance, you know, like that little seven area, that little mid spot. Definitely a, uh, a good time to connect with ancestors, you know, and, and also, also remember that from the Devic Kingdom to, you know, just the regular ancestors, ancestors that are closely uh, related to us in this lifetime or 
you know, ancestors from past, you know, uh, that we dead wood and, and past I whatever. You know, you want to make sure you're specifying that, you know, it's, it's not just like all ancestors. It's like, no, you know, all the ancestors who are beneficial to my mind, body, and soul, I want to connect with you right now. You know what I'm saying? To all the, you know, the divine ancestors who are beneficial to my spiritual path, I call out to you, you know what I'm saying? May you come come from the, the, the innards of my DNA and inside of me and connect, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, make your presence be felt. But again, you want to make sure you're specifying it ain't just all even with the devil kingdom like some parts of the devil kingdom as above so below just like they got dysfunctional you know uh people and situations on this earthly plane it exists on the realms of other you know dimensions as well you know like say for instance a certain area you might have like a certain park or something well uh you know, like no grass growing, trash everywhere, this type of thing, you know. Some of the fairies or devil kingdom in that area, either they done cashed out and they're not even around, or they on some kind of uh, mischievous vibes, you know. Where it's like, fuck it, since they ain't, you know, since since there's no, uh, how can I say, plant life, stuff like that, they might steal your crystals and stuff like that. Because another reason why uh, crystals will end up missing or in other dimensions you know, a little fairy or gnome or something from the Devic Kingdom be done took your crystal. You know? <laughs> As a matter of fact, the Devic Kingdom and dealing with, you know, the elementals and, you know, that, that, that realm in that sense is one of the realms that's one of the closest realms to, you know, this physical, you know, uh, 3D, 4D slash moving into 5D, uh, 6D existence. But, you know, uh, that's why all the movies or cartoons always depicted, you know, stories of like gnomes as far as like all you had to do was just, you know, go through the other side of a, you know, in a hole in the tree or, you know, or the hole in the ground or just something close compared to the idea of like having to go into hyperspace or this and that. Like, nah, it's like the Devil Kingdom is a realm that's like right there. You know, uh, I definitely catch the vibe I might have spoke, spoken on in the past about like, you know, like unicorns and, you know, the, the big foots of the world, you know, these certain mystical beings, you know, uh, existing on those, uh, you know, those higher dimensions, but the higher dimensions that's kind of close to this earthly plane. And that's why some people, you know, have these visions or, you know, or may have, you know, uh, actually seen these beings, you know. They may have been, you know, uh, vibing on that certain frequency and, you know, because uh, again, being able to tap into a certain dimension is vibing on a certain frequency, you know, like when I, when I intend, when I have intentions to tap into the ancestors and stuff like that, you know, and I, I start breathing and meditating, I'm getting to a place of allowing my actual vibration to be at a certain pace once your vibration at a certain pace that's how you tap into a certain realm that's why like when we take you know uh, dealing with psychedelics you know the, the psilocybin or the dmt you know uh creates a certain vibration within our body that uh allows for us to tap into these higher dimensions because you know our our body is vibrating at the same rate as some of these dimensions that's why a lot of times when we're doing psychedelics, we can almost feel like uh, like you talk, like like you vibrating so fast you can hear a faint like like echoish vibe when you're talking or like you know like or trying to talk. Cause again, too, you you vibrating so fast it's even hard to use your motor skills and stuff like that. You know, cause you're vibrating literally, and that's you know just the science of vibrations and wavelengths. You know. By a, a, a wave of vibrating at a high frequency, meaning the high frequency of the 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 uh, of going up and down the, to the trough and the crest, uh, where the crest and the trough, like it was a high frequency of it going up and down, up and down, compared to like a lower vibration is like you know the frequency is very slow. It goes up and then down. You know what I'm saying? And it's you know compared to like. Vibrating at a high frequency. 
and there's no good or, or bad thing about low vibrations or high vibrations neither one are good or, neither one of them are good and bad you know or bad and good whatever you know if 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 i'm not grounding myself i could be in such a little high vibrational place that i'm delusional to what's going on in this realm you know of course tapping into these high dimensions but i'm here for a reason you know so i'm meant to be grounded as well so you know uh uh, being in just a high vibration could be an unfavorable thing just as much as being in a low vibration could be an unfavorable thing but you know balancing yourself in between both realms is where it's at you know again like how I did that video showing like where the heart is the mid space in between you know the, the uh, you know the brain area intellect and then the sexual energy you know down here and balancing you know or more so the body you know uh, so the sexual energy in the body, the heart, and then the, you know, the, the higher energy and intellect, you know, it's like meeting in this middle place, you know, because the heart has passion for things in this physical realm, as well as having passion and a connection for you no know, things in the non-physical realm. So you see like that, uh, you know, that connection. But back to the, uh, you know, the basis of things, Get out in nature, take them shoes off, go find some, some sanitary grass. When I say sanitary, just a little area of grass where you just know for sure a bunch of dogs or animals ain't been pissing and shitting in it, you know, whatever. I mean, and regardless, I tell people I've been, always been in the mind of, like, you never know anyway. Like, it could have been some dogs piss or something or over years or a long time ago, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just as long as though, you know, you feel the energy that you're comfortable in, you know, uh, being barefoot and, and chilling in that area, you know, because a lot of us, again, it's a balance. Some of us got this vibe of, you know, we've been trained to be so clean, you know, Americanized in essence, you know, because here it is, you know, we are indigenous beings, you know, you see how indigenous people live, you know, uh, in nature, it's not all that, that, that blocking yourself from nature vibe, like being boxed in a house like that, you know, like it's being real close to nature, you know, and connecting, you know, not afraid of getting dirt on you, you know, you are dirt, you know, you're part of the dirt, you are the earth, you know. So, uh, there's no reason to be scared to connect with it. Again, in a lot of cases, whenever, whenever you find that you are scared of something natural and almost all cases that will be your egoic mind and and that that negative aspect of you that doesn't want to see you grow you know that part of your ego that doesn't want change and doesn't want to see you because you know that part of your ego knows that when you start you know going out barefooted in nature or when you start buying crystals like that's that part of you know that it, it, the jig is up and this day is all over once you start to spiritually grow because when you spiritually grow you're going to start expanding trying new things and going new places and that's different and that mean change and the, the ego like oh no we ain't having that over here player matter of fact your ego <laughs> your ego like old boy off a belly off the moving belly matter of fact like uh as a uh, came from minister society your ego eating that banana like Mm -mm. Have to drop the dime on that nigga. <laughs> I, I, I ain't letting, I ain't letting him progress. Oh no, it ain't nothing. <laughs> That's what you know. Our, our, you know, our, in essence, our egoic mind, our, you know, quote unquote, demons or you know, inner negativity that hasn't been transmuting. Is, is not trying to see us grow, you know? <laughs> it's funny, but that's that exact correlation. But again, connecting with nature and connecting with the ancestors. I also have a video on, uh, you know, why I started my altar and uh, different videos on dealing with, you know, deities and the ancestors, you know, you might want to check out those videos. You should be able to just look up, you know, universal frequencies and ancestors or altar or voodoo or, you know, 
deities and these videos should pop up you know but uh and some of them will be in playlists as well which the playlist is still under construction y'all matter of fact thank y'all for y'all patience for dealing with you know with that and dealing with me but again that veil is you know october matter of fact that's why you know halloween you know and it was said with the halloween vibe that uh, even before it was taken into trying to scare people about like the devil. That's another thing. Also realizing all this vibe that's trying to scare like, oh, this is the devil, this is the devil, this haunt. Anything that's trying to scare you at all. Like why would the God within yourself purposely try to scare you knowing how that is going to be a hindrance to your spiritual growth? So anything, and, 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 this, and it may be somebody who you know you know uh, your, your relatives or somebody that's on their spiritual growth as well but they're not at the same point as you and they still fear manga by certain things you know anybody coming at you know check that fucking energy and let it know like uh nah you know like it ain't about trying to fear anything of course you want to awareness but again even with that it's like uh you don't want to overly you know constantly be trying to put your awareness on something because then in essence you know uh it'll turn into that you know that fear so it's not about fearing anything because like uh, alistair crowley and the beast and the 666 and that's the devil oh no i ain't dealing with that uh, uh. that's trying to scare you away from tapping into the energies of your ancestors you know like right now a lot of you probably over the age of you know 18 you know but a lot of you you know uh are even you know say for instance some some people who may be you know uh 40 and again 40 earth years and above but where well, you find that you you still scared of the dark are you scared of the dark for some reason that because of the subconscious programming of hollywood with these movies stemming from hp lovecraft with the whole concept of that our you know, our uh, ancient primordial God self, you know, it's like this, this, these demons, you know what I'm saying? You know, like these monsters. And, uh, you know, he created that symbolism and the, you know, the Hollywood people, you know, the Spielbergs, all this of the world, you know, you know, vibe with that, or should I say Stephen King? Yeah, Stephen King, you know, with the horror movies, like, cause basically H.P. Lovecraft, said the blueprint for you know horror but again that's all trying to excuse me scare you away from the dark and that's in in more ways than one you know what i'm saying you see how the subconscious programming is layered where it not only scan you from the dark but you know from the dark like my my body suit you know like from melanin you know what i'm saying like literally you know you come across somebody that's black like a motherfucker you kind of feel like oh, this person might do me something but it's in that you know, not realizing that, you know, that's programming of just, well, all things. I got a video I did not so long ago about that, you know, with the etymology of words and dark and, you know, uh, matter of fact, I forgot the name of the video. Uh, but I just recently uh, did it, but breaking down, oh, with the court system and, and words, you know, with the court system and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, the black widow the black mom but this and uh you know the dark night of the soul black man like creating this subconscious kind of take this subconscious relationship where you just always associate anything dark with and again too and creating this where it's bad and good when there's no such thing you know it's just light and dark there's no bad or good you know you got the dark side to things you got the light side to things you know but creating this subconscious programming to make you scared of the dark so here it is where you're scared to do altar work and you know can't even walk in your own house with the lights off because you you know scared of some beings that are really walking with you and protecting you you know the reason why you haven't been dealing with any real darkness all your life is because these beings that's you know what you think is hiding in the dark you know is is really helping you you know what i'm saying when you in uh, the dark in essence. <laughs> so again, it's you know subconscious and go check out my video about subconscious programming and see the different vibes and ways to, you know, uh, help 
reprogram your subconscious into, you know, not being scared of yourself, basically. That's basically what that is, is like being scared of ourselves. But connecting with the ancestors is very, very important right now. Uh, yeah, connecting with the ancient energy. It's definitely the business right now. <laughs> Uh, again, specifying what ancestors we're dealing with, you know, connecting with the altar, you know, whether it's just a simple ancestral altar where, you know, a certain family member that transitioned, you know, could put the pictures up, but more so, you know, uh, just an altar in general, you know, that you could just connect, you know, uh, because you, you work with your own spirit, you know, like, uh, without going too deep into it. Like, as far as the do's and don'ts, you know, you could feel like, because in some cases, you know, some energies may not want to share the same altar and stuff like that, you know. And when I say some energies, just like, these are personifications of energies within you. And the Oshun within you is like, you know, I don't wanna, really want to be on the same altar as... The Ogun within, you know, within myself, you know what I'm saying? So those two altars may need uh, different places, you know. Again, matter of fact, kind of like how the different aspects exist within ourselves. Matter of fact, speaking back to the to the sex vibes, you know. Uh, matter of fact, shout out to Till Swan on that one again. Where, uh, speaking of like how you could have like discord within yourself, like. Of course, a part you like you want to have sex, but then there's a, you know, there's archetypes within you, and part of you uh, want to have sex, you know, right now, but another part strongly don't want to have sex because you know you don't have any protection. And if you was to go through with with having sex, it wouldn't be healing because even though part of you want to have sex, that other part is now going to be damaged. You know what I'm saying? Are going to go through some trauma. You, know, you got to be fully, you know, all aspects of you got to be in balance, you know. Like the, the Horus and Set story, you know, matter of fact, because Horus or the horizon, you know, the sun coming over the horizon or Horus or your horoscope, you know, or sun sets, you know what I'm saying? Right before the sun sets, it goes into the underworld, you know, into the darkness, you know. Uh, but the, the battle between Horus and Set within our body, you know. Matter of fact, if y'all watch the, uh, the movie The Gods of Egypt, you know, matter of fact, where they, where you know, there is still that continuance of the subconscious programming of not showing any melanated people in places where it was obviously melanated, melanated people. <laughs> you know, again, it's not for us to sit around and cry about it, but we definitely not go, uh, not acknowledge it either. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Act like, uh, like that didn't happen. Cause that's what helps fix the situation, you know, shining a light on the on, on, on the shadows, on that bullshit. You know, these people that's trying to turn the other cheek and ignore things. Cause when I would bring up things, and I think people would get that vibe from me, I wouldn't mean necessarily, which I know part of me was kind of tapped into that, that, that vibe of uh, turn the other cheek. But I, even with that vibe, I always was like, you know, uh, not necessarily ignoring, but more so just choose to pay attention to things that are beneficial to you. You know what I'm saying? Because some things could could not be ignored. Again, I think I always use the example of the, uh, you know, the Alton Sterling situation. You know, matter of fact, and I was out here during that, so the energy was real, uh, real strong. But that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> Connections. The veil is thin. Matter of fact, working with Devic Kingdom crystals, uh, you know, the moss agates, the green amethyst, the fuchsite, you know, uh, Numite kind of had that vibe. Uh, N U U M M I T E, I think. Uh, what else? Covalite connects with the uh, ancestors. Covalite is kind of rare, kind of. Harder, well, more difficult 
because of the rarity it might not be in the all crystal shops like that but it's like a copper crystal but it, that one creates a, a strong connection matter of fact i should have a video on cova light in a uh, christ of coal and malachi i think all of them and how to uh because the copper connects with the with the melanin energy as well matter of fact that's why Mal malachite is so strong because malachite is a carbon like a a carbonate carbonate I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's like a carbon-based crystal, and it's also a copper-based crystal as well, and that's why it connects so uh, well with us. But uh, like, it's something dealing with the tyrosinase, tyrosinase, or tyrosinase, and uh, the melanocytes. But it's like a copper concentration in in that little area, you know. And again, seeing why copper in general is just so important to creating that that connection. Because, uh, again, copper creates a connection, and that carbon or melanin, you know, creates a connection as well, you know, and that's always bring up, like, you know, reason why, you know, the LeBron James and Michael Jordan's, you know, jumping high, or, you know, uh, you know, matter of fact, shout out Rodney Milburns, you know, Appaloosas, Louisiana, gold medalist, you know, uh, but this energy, you know, with the melanin is a certain connection you know, uh, to the energies around, you know, same thing with dancing, you know, like, well, it's just natural for, uh, you know, a melanated person to just go with the groove of it, you know what I'm saying? It's because of connection, you know, a stronger connection to vibrations and wavelengths, you know, and as above, so below, you know, uh, if all life is made out of, you know, most of the life in this existence made out of carbon and you know, I'm a carbon-based being, and, you know, that carbon within me is going to resonate with all the carbon around me, you know. So, I think it's like the, uh, like the chaga mushroom. The chaga mushroom is one of the most detoxifying uh, plants in nature, you know, a fungi, or, you know, plant fungi, however it technically be about it, but, you know, uh, and it has the highest concentration of melanin out of, you know, uh, out of anything in nature, you know, the chaga mushroom. Matter of fact, uh, when you look at what it's called, the OVAC, O-V-A-C, it's like the, how they, you know, it's like a little system of judging like uh, the oxidation level or how high of an antioxidant certain, you know, things are like a blueberry or acai, but like chaga mushroom is, you know, out the roof, you know, and as above, so below, you know, melanated people, help detoxify the planet, you know. And as above, so below, though, uh, you know, uh, here to detoxify the planet, but also uh, could be thrown off, because say for if I go to taking all kind of drugs and stuff like that, you know, I melanin like a genie, and if I go to fucking up my body, it's like, all right, well, we could really be fucked up then, you know, we could take it there, you know, so that's why as above, so below, even though, uh, on a uh, natural, you know, just way of being, you know, uh, you know, the the, the melanin, uh, you know, the, the melanin within the body of the earth, you know what I'm saying, as certain uh, humans in this body suit, we are, you know, detoxifying, you know, uh, you know the harmful vibes, you know, in nature, or, you know, in this plane, you know, so to speak. And again, it's not to, uh, you know, get into an egoic place of, you know, thinking you better than somebody uh, because they may have less melanin than you or no melanin at all for uh, that case. And which, again, you do have the neuromelanin, which is the most important connection. Because, uh, again, at the end of the day, we all mutts and a lot of us mix and you may not see a certain level of skin melanin, but it's there on a, a neural uh, level. Matter of fact, you look up uh, neuromelanin and uh, the negris substantia, you know, the dark area, matter of fact, around the pineal gland, no coincidence that is in, the, you know, around that area, but uh, matter of fact, in the pineal gland, it's like, the, considered like the underworld of the, you know, the uh, the brain, because you got the outer world, like the bigger part of your brain, and you got that little inner realm, you know, with the hypothalamus and, you know, the pituitary and pineal gland that, you know, matter of fact, when you think about the name of Osiris translating to the black dot or Krishna, the black one, you 
know, in the Christ seed all going to that area, you know, the pineal gland also called the seed of the soul, you know, uh, you know, the third eye, you know, as a matter of fact, and the pineal gland is actually made out of the same material that our, uh, like that our actual eyes is made out of too, you know, uh, so you see that correlation, you know, that Osiris, the black dot, you know, in that underworld, you know, and Osiris coming from the underworld, you know, from the darkness. You know, that's all, you know, allegory for, for the way energy is moving within our body. And because they're moving within our body a certain way, as above, so below, it's going to move like that in the cosmos as well, you know. Like, well, again... The, the, the melanin spreading in a divine chaotic way. You know, that's why you got like uh, President Obama and a Kanye West or like, you know, uh, you know, certain actors and entertainers who, you know, in these these realms, you know, where it's like, well, you think, oh man, they being a sellout, this and that. It's like, well, no, the, the melanin is just, you know, pushing over into all so all those little uh, areas, you know, the, the shadow areas, you know what I'm saying? Like, with the government trying to control this and do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just going to be, you know, just that energy of melanin leaking as above, so below, you know, uh, as it expands, the, the sun, you know, awakening in us and the sun, you know, causes, you know, the, the melanin or the carbon to activate within us, so as that inner carbon and melanin you know activating within as above so below activating outside you know and again it's not just subject to people who visibly have skin melanin that's why some people who might be uh you know white is driven white as snow and more uh you know more closer to the indigenous vibes and the ancestors than somebody who has visible melanin, you know what I'm saying? What you just really see is about getting with the program of an energy, you know, uh, and I say getting with the program of it, but in essence, you know, uh, connecting with a certain energy, you know, and it's just up to you to connect. Cause again, you got, uh, you got melanated brethren, uh, regardless if it's been, because they've been tricked in that position or not, you know, it is what it is as far as like, you got melanated beings harming this, this plane and you got a uh, non-melanated beings harming this plane you know but it is about you know uh honoring the high aspects of you know that carbon within us you know aka that melanin and realizing that we are a god on a human experience you know god that you chose these different little body suits to have a certain little experience play out on the physical realm and for us to learn from it, you know. We didn't come down here to just like be blindly peaceful, like, oh man, namaste, I don't see color. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, you know, or to meditate our way back into the ethers. It's like, you know, why in the fuck we would even came down here in the first place? You know, which again to each his own because all of us tapped in different parts of the experience in different realms you know and uh got different duties you know in different experiences that we want to experience here so i'm not knocking any experience but you just start to see uh you know or you just start to feel a vibe of like I, i'm here for a reason you know i was given this body suit you know like when you look around and you see that source don't really make mistakes, you know. Like, you know, the sugar already added to your fruits. <laughs> you ain't gotta add sugar to your fruits, it's already there. You know, these different aspects are just already, you know, built the way they are, you know. So you just start to see. Like, all right, if I'm in the bodysuit. And I used to wonder about that as a little kid, like, why am I? Like how how why I'm uh, not say why I'm in a bodysuit, but how I'm in a bodysuit, not in a you know just not a ghost floating around. You know what I'm saying? Like I used to think about that as a look. And I say think about it as a little kid. That's my high self, kind of in essence, you know, or, or my my inner dialogue created from what my parents had taught me so far. 
you know, kind of talking back with my high self in essence. You know, like realizing the reality of the situation. <laughs> Basically, y'all connecting with the ancestors is very key right now. Doing that altar work, not paying attention to the news all the time. If you're a type of person that could be aware and then go back to doing what you gotta do, cool. But, you know, uh, like dealing with those energies should be fully beneficial to our mind, body, and soul. You know, kind of like with, with, with me studying, you know, like looking into the vibe now like with the you know cia mk ultra laurel canyon mulholland drive and lsd and hollywood and stanley kubrick and you know plato's cave and all these different connections you know it's for my own you know it's mind body and soul i'm learning from it you know uh i'm able to you know learn from myself and help others you know learn and and, and spiritually liberate themselves because you know, it's beneficial for me to know that Hollywood is trying to program, you know, my subconscious is, is it something for me to be aware of. It, it's something for me to be aware of that, you know, the hippie culture, you know, and uh, Grateful Dead had, uh, Grateful Dead and the Beatles had people working with them that worked for the Tavis, Tavistock Institute, which dealt with social engineering, you know, and they would get down to even faking that like when the Beatles would go to certain places, get fake women to act like they were, you know, uh, like a crowd was really there and stuff like that, like really manufacturing these existences, you know. And I did a video on this, so, you know, but, which I'm gonna start getting more deep into, but again, and that's why our connection with the ancestors is so important as well right now, because now the veil thin and you're able to connect with it but you'll be able to connect strongly and really know. So how some of us had this vibe where we like, oh, I can't tell whether there's my, well, you know, of course you gotta meditate, you know, meditate, got videos on that. <laughs> you know, meditate and, you know, clear your mind to, to connect strongly with the ancestors. Cause one of the reasons why I've always been able to sniff out like fraud, fraudulent energies and fraudulent people is because of my strong connection with the ancestors doing my altar work. Like I always get that little voice of like, eh, that's because you deal with us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you connecting with us and we, you know, we, uh, we allowing you to peep out the bullshit. And again, also because I'm making sure I'm connecting with the ancestors who are beneficial to you know the mind body and soul because we we have some ancestors that could have been you know child molesters you know uh malicious murderers you know could have had ancestors that were sellouts <laughs> you know what i'm saying you know they might not want to uh connect with you know love them nonetheless but you know just not trying to summon up that energy and matter of fact as i say sell out you know again like uh, how the melanin spread and where you know People try to call like the, the Will Smiths, the Oprahs, you know, the Kanye Wests, the, the, the Jay-Zs, the, you know, uh, if I didn't say Oprahs, but you know, these people who, you know, in essence they are, you know, in some way, form or fashion doing things that may uh, be unbeneficial. Like they may go along with things that may be brainwashing us in a in a way that's not beneficial to our soul. But because it's a chess game and you know, uh, again, if they don't do it, somebody in essence has to infiltrate and you know, just, and I say again, have to, is just again, that energy is not even them, like as much as they, uh, a person human mind may say, oh yeah, I wanna be an actor and I'm gonna be a top level actor even if I gotta kiss ass to get to this place, you know, even though a person may have that human perspective of it, there's a lot more going on. Check out my video with, about Michael Jackson and Paramahansa Yogananda and how we are literally, you know, this is like a little vessel, you know, and we're on a mission as a soul, you know, you know, as God on a human experience, you know, it's, uh, it's levels to this, you know. But, uh, again, like with the Kanye West vibe and the cooning and all that, like, uh, you know, just, 
like like the uh, matter of fact, a lot of people bring up the reference in which I never read it or whatever, but it's some uh, the, it's a novel or story or whatever the spook that sat by the door, you know. But I guess it has to deal with something about like you know, probably uh, you know a slave that you know listened to mass and good old boy, but he was just being a good old boy this and that to you know learn a little something so he could you know really help himself and others you know again i'm just this is the vibe i'm catching I never read the spook by the door or you know know the summary of it or anything i'm just you know i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm uh i'm feeling the vibe that if people are using that analogy with what kanye west is doing and that may be you know the gist of the situation but connect them with the ancestors Keep you from them fugazi vibes. <laughs> you know, right now is a time too where if a person not talking about, you know, getting in nature and connecting with the ancestors, you know, you might want to go in the opposite direction. You know? But not let my don't let my words be the judge of that situation. You know, you feel the energy for yourself. You know, but in most cases. You know, right now with a veil thin and it's like the perfect time for you to tap into your higher self and the ancestors, you know, and somebody talking about, man, let's get drunk and watch the football game, this and that. Again, ain't nothing wrong with these little things, but man, you know, don't forget about these energies to tap into, you know. Matter of fact, I think about back home in Opelousas, uh, and directly, I think that's probably why that uh, that Creole festival. Uh, and what's funny, the irony of it is, is started or funded by you know uh, the Catholic church that I used to go to, Holy Ghost Church. Oh, this bizarre, but indirectly it creates this like this tribal connection of you know of uh, all the melanated people in the city, you know, kind of uh, coming together in essence. And it's a, in November around, the, you know, the veil thin and the ancestors, you know, little whispers could be heard a little stronger. And two, we also connecting in our dreams. Matter of fact, it's another thing too, doing our best right now to not, uh, you know, sabotage, uh, getting the type of rest that would allow lucid dreaming, you know, so, you know, not, uh, you know, not overeating at night, stuff like that, you know, to help, uh, Make make you know going into the lucid dream you know more smooth and easier you know so we could you know tap into these energies and get these different insights. But peace, happy now. Now's a vibrate, of course. Not going too far in the future. Not going too far in the past. Right now at Alaska Street Park. I think, I think old Kevin Gates and spoke on old Alaska, or at least Alaska Street. And I think that's the thing uh, in this little area. There's a South Side Baton Rouge, like all the little streets is named after a state, you know. So you got Alabama, Arkansas, in fact, State Street, you know, all president. Because you got Garfield, Roosevelt. <laughs> and I'll be peeping out there, little. The vibe, but that's basically it, y'all. Peace. Remember, meditation, eating healthy, connecting to our inner, to the unconditional love vibe, and connecting to our inner intuition with the heart. You know, we're not trying to walk around and trying to judge, or, or, or like, uh, not judge at all, but like trying to, you know look at a person's body suit and or what they wearing or how they talking and this and that like we're not dealing with none of that we're dealing with energy how do you feel when that person is in your presence do you feel like you could be comfortable around this person or do you feel kind of at ease you know you know because this person could be smiling and this and that this and that but you feel unease or this person could have an appearance of somebody that you know again your egoic mind could say probably is like this but then give off the energy that's so pleasing and loving you know what i'm saying like so again following the heart stay out of that mind get out of here
we use the thoughts, we use the brain, but we don't want to let the brain use us. You know, because matter of fact, as I'm speaking on these vibes of, you know, being aware of, you know, like uh, the CIA in Hollywood, all these different things. If you're in your mind, if you're not meditating, then you're going to fear, you know, you're going to uh, fear monger yourself about certain things and being the thoughts, you know. That's why it's important to, you know, get out of the thoughts. You find yourself like any place of fear, then you're in the thoughts. You know, you're creating scenarios that don't even exist. You know, what if, in most cases of what if, you could just start all the thoughts from that vibe. The reason why you're nervous or scared is because you, you're in one of them what if thoughts. You know, false evidence appearing real. But again, peace, peace, y'all. Happy now. Now is the vibrate. Not going too far in the future. Not going too far in the past. Right now is the vibrate. Peace.